So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! Keep spitting my face! Our video today takes us to Edmonds, Washington, where we find our favorite blubbering buffoon buddy Glenda gets trespassed from the post office. Oh, yes, he does. And along the way, he makes threats to officers, challenges them to an MMA fight. He's going to sweep their leg. And if that isn't enough, he heads to the police station to file complaints and announce he's filing a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Ho oh, ho! Now, by the way, I've had viewers write in and tell me that they don't like watching the same racist clip over and over. Well, sad to say that's going to stay. But I did put it at the end of the video today. Enjoy! Hey, don't forget, Mr. Serio, I'm exposing you for the racist, bigoted, misogynistic pig that you are. And I don't care if I ever make a dime on these videos on YouTube, because I've always included your racist rants, which you have now taken down from your channel. <laughs> Isn't that coincidental? Took down the rants about you being a racist. Oh, how lovely. Enjoy the video. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, guys? We're here in Edmonds, Washington, by the Edmonds Ferry Dock. And we're just seeing if these guys respect our right to record in public. Oh, don't curb it. Don't curb it, lady. Jesus. Old timers, they can't drive anymore. For anyone who doesn't know, Glenn doesn't like older people and he defines older as being over 40. Now believe it or not Glenn has reached a mature age of 35 and the way he's going he may not live much longer with that heavy breathing. You're gonna have to lose some weight buddy because you're getting to be an old timer. 15 minutes late. What's that? Where's your face oh I don't know where it went. I think it's gone. Maybe you should wait outside. Should I get it? Outside, yeah. yep. Really? Yep. Is that like a law or what? I think so. Okay. What law is that? You gonna be okay over there, buddy? No. Pardon me, good sirs. But Glenn doesn't wear a face mask because there's not one made that's large enough to fit his fat face. By the way, putting a face mask on Glenn would impair his ability to inhale oxygen. He already needs an oxygen tank. Stop at stop signs. Do I stop at stop signs? Are we driving? Yeah. Where? Where are we going? <laughs> We're going to like New York or something. A few moments later. So we, uh, since we're on the federal pro federal property, it is required for you to wear a face mask. We have one that we can provide to you. Otherwise, you'll have okay. to wear it. Okay. Well, where's the policy that says that, or where's the law that says that? It's out of his mouth. Oh, his mouth. Okay. Your 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 mouth is law. Remember that. And what is your big mouth used for, Glenn? Other than to spew profanities at strangers in public. Oh, that's right, I forgot. To shovel in truckloads of Taco Bell and make you gain even more weight. So you, you can find it on our website. Much, if you like. Here it is. Yeah, we are okay. no under no obligation to show you the Sure you are. You're no. you're a public employee. No. You work for me. No, I'll be sure you do. No, you no, you work for the federal government. That's right. That's right. Who pays? Who pays your salary? 
That's the right. Not the taxes. Sure they do. They do. We fund you. You are funded by us. We are not funded by you. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll stop paying you and see how long you guys last. <laughs> we'll see how long you last, Glenn, as your YouTube channel continues to dwindle. Your clicks and views are down dramatically, which translates to much less money for you. But not to worry, you're on the dole and you sleep at the men's shelter, so no worries at all. You'll have to leave, sir. Sorry. Because, you, no, you'll have to leave because you've been, you, you've created too much animosity. I haven't done nothing. You, I'm responding to you. That's, that's I'm just filming. I, I feel that my health is threatened. Well, I don't know how I'm threatening your health. I'll tell second that. Okay. Well, second that. Leave, I'm not leaving. If you don't mind the wait, I'll be right back. Go for it. Hold up the line, huh? Okay. No, I'll have That's you removed not only for trespassing, but also for in, in, impeding interstate traffic. Many have tried, and many have failed. I enjoy when frauditors make predictions because they never come true. And today is your special day, Glenn, because as you just stated, many have tried in the past and many have failed. But today you will be trespassed. What is your point? My point? All I'm not inconveniencing you. I'm just recording. He's, he's responding to me. I'm not... You know, engaging him. I'm not holding up nothing. It's not me. It's not me. I'm just recording. That's all I'm doing. What's the report of recording? It's my business, right? To record in public. Any patriotic American citizen would wear a mask in a situation. What's patriotic about wearing a mask? <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> As Glenn harasses and provokes the postal customers, the man in the background is calling the police. Although the postal worker has already called police, so this is the second call. Oh, it's going to get very good in just a moment. I haven't done anything. I'm standing here. I haven't obstructed anyone. So there's, You're in trouble. there's, okay, yeah, I'm in trouble. Good luck with that. <laughs> Ten minutes later. This gentleman was asked to leave and he refused to leave. Okay. Uh, he, uh, we offered him a mask, he refused to uh, take it, and uh, people have complained that we do have a policy of being, having a mask when you're in the post office. Okay. So uh, you're being video recorded and audio so recorded are you. right now. Yep, so are you. And you're being asked to leave. Glenn is being asked to leave by a police officer. Do you think that he will leave? And if he does, do you think he'll go quietly? <laughs> I doubt it. By who? By, by the post office. For what? For not complying with their rules. So you need what to are the rules? You need to wear a mask. Show me the rules. Do you have a copy of your policy? We're under no obligation to prepare. They are. Yes, no, they, not. yes, they are. So you need to leave. So you're saying if I put a mask on, I don't have to leave? They want you to leave now. So you're saying it's not because of a mask? They don't want you here. You need to leave. I don't, I don't know what that means. That means that if you don't leave, you're going to get arrested for trespass. For what reason? Because you're trespassing. Trespassing for what reason? I need a reason. The reason is, is they don't want you here. Okay, that's not a reason. Okay, that is their reason. No, it's not. I'm not causing a disturbance. I've not done nothing. Okay. I'm going to ask you for your lieutenant now because you don't know what you're doing. Okay, we don't have lieutenant. Okay, Sergeant. Doesn't Glenn remind you of a little crybaby? Or possibly a Karen? Always wants the manager, a lieutenant, a sergeant, a person higher in authority. That's because mommy and daddy didn't show you enough attention when you were a child. Isn't that right, Glenn? I I'm the supervisor today. You have two stripes, you're not that a sergeant. That's true. So would you, would you like to leave? 
I would like your sergeant or lieutenant here immediately. Okay. If you're going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay. Let's go outside and talk about this. You first. I'll follow you out the door. Okay. Go ahead. You I'll follow you out the door. Go. I'm, I'm going right behind you. I don't like when people are behind Well, that's not my problem. If no. you have a problem, that's not my problem. I'm following you out the door. If you don't like we'll it, go ahead. Out. Yeah, right. you'll walk out. We'll walk out you'll walk out. That's right. You'll walk out. You'll walk out like normal, like we do all the time. Would you like to tell us your name, sir? I would not. Okay, you're free to go. Free to go? What yeah. does that mean? Well, Glenn, that means you're not being arrested and you're not being detained. You're free to go. But your mentality, you'll probably stay. And you might sweep a leg or two. That means that you're not wanted here. You're free to go. I, I can go in here anytime. Public okay. building. If you go in, you're going to get arrested. For you trespass. think that. You believe that. And if you arrest me, I'll file a federal lawsuit. You'll lose your job. Multi-million dollar lawsuit. Okay. So we can do it any way you want. Okay. So I'm going to go back in there because this is a federal building. Okay. I'm allowed in here. He has no reason to kick me out. I'm just videotaping. This is legal. Okay. Poster 7, rules and regulations governing the post office. Okay. So you are breaking the law. Okay. So I'll go in here anytime I want because I'm not causing a disturbance. Okay. Well, you'll need to wear a mask if you go in. Okay. But I, I would like to... Can I file it? Well, he's not going to give us his name. So... That's okay. I mean, I just... Do you know who he is? Okay. We will do a trespass on him. He's got his name. So you're free to go. You see what happens, Glenn, when you get on the watch list? Everybody knows your name. Oh, that's like the show. When you go to the bar and everybody knows your name? Yeah, it gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling, doesn't it, Glenn? You can do a trespass. You're, you're going to, you're going to. If you come back here in this building, you will get arrested and taken to jail. You just said you're going to do a trespass on me. We're doing a trespass on I'll you. I'll need the paperwork. We're going to give you the paperwork. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, officer. Yeah, no problem. You're going to lose your job, you idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> well, the, you have an idiot. You are an idiot. Not with me. Okay. No, no. It's you. You cannot. You have no authority. You are not postal police. Okay. You are not FPS. Do you know what FPS is? Well, I know that this post federal office... protective services. You have no jurisdiction on federal property. Well, you are gonna. They're gonna take your badge and melt it. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Well, I appreciate you telling me that, sir. Yeah. No worries at all, officer. Glenn is a professor of education. In fact, he has a 400-level education in English. Oh, Glenn is highly specialized. Uh, but the fact remains that this post office is in the city of Edmonds, and you're not wanted. So anymore. you're giving unlawful law. You're giving unlawful trespass on jurisdiction you don't have. Sir, that's your opinion. It's not my opinion. It's law. Okay. You're not federal. You are a okay. city cop. You That's are the city of Edmonds. That's true. You have no authority in this post office. Well, thank you for telling me. Yeah, that. FPS. But you have to call FPS. The if issue you, is, there is no issue. You, you've been you an issue. Go in there. They don't want you I there. can go in there anytime I want. Well, let's just agree to disagree. He'll bring you the paperwork, and then we'll be all done. You've already counter. You've already talked over yourself. First, you said I can go in there if I have a mask. Glenn, the officer did not say that. Make sure you watch your own recording later because he did not say that. And stop trying to be a psychic. You will not go in that building at any time you want. Oh, we would love to see that, though. Now you're no, saying I'm being... You've what already... They're saying, no. What they're saying is that they don't want you in there now. Okay? Absolutely. So that is... The they, they have to have a reason. I have to have a disturbance. I have to commit a crime. You're committing a disturbance. No, right I'm now. not. You are. Okay. That's you are. Opinion. You have engaged me. You brought me out here. I was just standing there filming. And I didn't say a word. Okay. You engaged me. Well, their policy is, is that people that's, in there wear a mask. That's okay. And so, you're not wearing one. so if your only if your only can concern you is can, uh, you, can you talk quieter? No, I cannot. Okay. If your only concern is a mask, I I well, can throw one on. Okay. If that's the problem, but if you're telling that me... That is the reason why I'm here. They now don't want you here. That's not my problem. Okay. I am allowed in this public facility, okay. federal post office, paid by the taxpayers. 
I always wonder what would happen if Glenn decided to go straight one day and get a real job, say at the post office, and then one day a frauditor would come in and harass him the way he's harassing everyone right now. That would be truly ironic, wouldn't it? Okay. So I will go in here anytime I please. Well, they don't want you in That's here. not my problem. Okay. I haven't committed a crime. Unless I commit a crime, I am not breaking the law. Okay. Filming in public is not breaking the law. Well, I never said that filming in public was, sir. Well, you you have to have a reason. You can't just say right. they want no, you out of here. No. The reason is, is you're not wearing a mask. Okay. So they don't want you in there because you weren't wearing a mask. Now they don't want you. Okay. In here's there a mask. Have a mask on here's the mask. Right. Okay. Here's the mask. Even though they haven't showed me a policy, right? Okay. Even though they haven't showed me a policy. Which they have to. You're gonna have to pick a different post office. I'm not going to. I'm. Uh, we're gonna play this game. Okay. I'm gonna win. I'll show you how. Okay. Glenn should pick a different game because he never wins at this one. Although we do like to watch him play games, we're highly entertained, aren't we, Glenn? <laughs> I'll show you how, buddy. <laughs> Okay. You you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine until you lose your job. Okay. Smith R. Smith, Robert Smith. Robert Smith, let's say. I would say he's probably 62 years old. Five foot seven. Probably 185 pounds. I guess they're kicking people out of the post office who, who are just, uh, I, I don't know. He's kicking people out. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's, he says people are getting trespassed and stuff, I guess. Uh, hey, your dog's not wearing a mask, so you might, uh, dog's not wearing a mask, so I don't know, man. I wonder if it's possible we could put a muzzle over Glenn's mouth. Of course, then he wouldn't be able to stuff Taco Bell in there at all hours of the day. But at least it would be quiet. I don't know what to say about that because uh, dog's not wearing a mask. See that? Oh yeah, we can play this game, buddy. We can play this game. Watch and learn. Okay. Watch and learn. Okay. Just in case this guy wants to get a little physical. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna have you just set it right there on the table. No, I'm gonna hand it. no that's okay. Here. That's okay. Nah. That's okay. Step back. Here. Well, step back. There you go. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Take it. You can have it. You can have it. Take it. Shove it up your ass. All right. Shove it up your ass. Okay. Mitsu. Nah, he pronounced it. Shove it up your ass, Mitsu. This is Glenn's narcissistic sociopathic behavior kicking in. He tries to insult everybody with his profanity, but it's not going to work on these two officers, especially this officer standing in front of him because he's familiar with Glenn's tactics. Shove it up your ass, Mitsu. There you go. Shove it up your ass. Wow. You don't want to get physical with me. I'm I'll take you down. Get, I'm not going to get physical. I'll sweep your leg. Threat, I'll sweep your leg. Okay. You need to leave. I don't need to leave. I'm on a public sidewalk. Well, we, we don't... I'm on a public well, sidewalk. Have you stand here and make threats. It's, it's, it's not a threat. Okay. Mutual it's combat a state. Way. Mutual combat state. Okay. Your understanding of the law is hey, correct. Hey, if you both want to come at me at once, That's I'll take you right. both down. I swear to God, I'll take you down. Alright, Pick up your garbage. Pick up your garbage. Glenn is a real tough guy, isn't he? I wonder if he could take on two cops at the same time. Probably not, because he needs another oxygen tank just to make it across the street. After giggling to himself and some serious heavy breathing because he's so huge, now Glenn has to face the police and a trespassing charge. Oh, this is going to be good. 
big line. Just re, uh, re telling you uh, yeah. that if you go back inside, uh -huh. then they're going to call us. And oh, okay. We'll arrest you, okay? Okay. You really think you could arrest me? Honestly. No, honestly. Like the two of you alone. Well, we can bring more officers. Well, imagine. Imagine if I just walked up and just okay. took. No, I'm just saying. And I'm just showing you something. Here, I'm not going to do nothing. Well, I don't need you to show me anything. But, but we're, we're in a public sidewalk. So here, well, here's the deal. Leave. If you what do you mean you're going to leave? We're going to leave. If you go back uh, but you're in talking about arresting me. So I just yes. want to I just want to see my anger versus okay. the two of you. If, if you go back in there, you will be arrested. I want to see you if I take you leave. down first, mutual combat style. Okay. If I bring you to your back, you're laying there in your back, okay? Glenn, if this officer is flat on his back and you're laying on top of him, he's going to be crushed to death with your massive weight. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Then I go after him, right? Then I go full force on him. Work out for him. Right? If you do that, you'll, you'll be arrested. Not if you charges. attack me. Not if you reach okay. for me and well, arrest we're me. We're done with this. We're not session. done. We're not done. We're, we're not done. That's it. Bye, Glenn. Bye. That's it. Yeah. I'll go with you to your car. You need an escort. <laughs> you don't like people behind you, remember? That's fine with me. Yo, but it wasn't fine earlier. It wasn't fine earlier. So you're a big tough guy. How tall are you? How tall are you? Okay. Do you honestly think that you could fight me in the arena? I'm asking you. I prefer not to. You prefer not to, but like you're a big tough guy, right? With a gun and a badge, right? I don't want to fight anyone. You don't want to fight nobody. No. But you want to press charges. You want to trespass people unlawfully, right? I would love to see Glenn in the ring. It would take one... Possibly two or three punches to put him down, and the reason I say so many punches is because his weight is so massive, he may not topple immediately. Yeah. Sure you do. You send it to the, you initiate it. You are the prime cause. You are the reason why. You are the reason why. You are the reason why. You're scared. You know I could whoop your ass. We both know it. Well, let's try it. Let's. All you have to do is agree to it. Mutual combat state. Why would I want to do that? Why not? Why not? Looks like your buddy's blocking the intersection. Yeah, well, that's because of you. You're standing in the middle of the road. I'm not in the middle of the road. I'm standing where you are. I'm standing. Glenn, with that massive frame, you'd block a Freeway. Look at that thing. How many months are you along now, Glenn? I guess it's true that men can become pregnant. I thought there was a bunch of garbage when I first heard it, but it looks like it's true. Where you are. You're a big tough guy. Cheers, Glenn. See you later. Cheers, baby. I'll see you. Oh, I'm crossing the street. Hey, man, I'm crossing the street. <laughs> One hour later. Now, we all know that sissy boy Glenn is not going to let this slide under the carpet. He goes to the Edmonds Police Station to file a complaint against the two officers involved. And don't forget, he's going to file a multi-million dollar lawsuit. A federal lawsuit. Oh, no doubt. Hey, buddy, get your lieutenant or sergeant out here now. Hey, get your lieutenant out here, your sergeant, now. That's it. Get him out here now.
Of course, Glenn is ignored. Because the officers that work in the Edmonds police station are familiar with Glenn. He's been there several times. This was where the teenager Braxton Fielding tracked him down one night and roasted him in the parking lot. And on another occasion, Glenn was here, and they thought he was a burglar. Oh, Glenn's familiar with everyone that works here. Five minutes later. What's that? Is that a, like a law? For Edmonds? Can you show me the mandate? Where? Right here? Right here? Where on the front door? So this this is law. This is government mandate from the governor. Yes. Glenn is such a blubbering buffoon. Just put the damn mask on. What is so difficult about it? Just put it on and shut your mouth. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You can't shut your mouth because you're either spewing profanities or shoving some Taco Bell into it. Government mandate from the governor. Okay. It says, do not enter the courtroom if you are sick. Face coverings are required in the courtroom. Social distancing guidelines are strictly enforced. We're not in the courtroom. Sorry, gotcha. I'm right beside you. Are we in the police station or courthouse? Okay, well, it doesn't say the police station. It says the courthouse. So, uh... I need a lieutenant out here, or a sergeant. We'd like to call the police station. You can use that phone right there and dial the Edmonds police phone. Press 9 and then the phone number is on the line. Glenn loves to call 911. It's never an emergency, but it is in his little pea brain mind, isn't it, Glenn? Hi, I need a sergeant, or actually a lieutenant out here. Um, I was having some trouble with some officers. Yeah, I'm here at the police station. I'm here to speak to a lieutenant. Um, I had some issues with a couple officers earlier. Yeah, I'm at the Edmonds police station. I'm in the lobby. I'll probably be around back where the police cars are. Oops, Jesus. I guess the cord doesn't stretch that far. Now, after listening to Glenn's heavy breathing for several seconds, he pulls on the phone cord a bit too hard and pulls the phone onto the floor. Now take note of what he does with the phone next. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, I would, I would go with cordless next time, you know, guys? Cordless is better. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's right, folks. The unemployed buffoon who lives on the dole left that phone on the floor. He didn't have enough common decency to pick it up and return it to the desk. Now he's headed outside for some more harassment. Let's pick up the story there. Hello. You a lieutenant, sergeant? What's that? Are you a lieutenant or sergeant? No. You want to send one out here? Send one out here? Yeah. I got some complaints to make. Oh, okay. A couple officers. I think he's uh, busy right now, but I'll let him know that you're here with him. I mean, how, how busy can he be, you know? Most of these guys look like they're just sitting on their ass eating. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
One's got a can am over there. It's like a hundred grand can am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want a radio in? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. No, the officer is not going to radio in, Glenn. They're not interested in your little complaints that you fill out on a daily basis. Shut your mouth and go home. A few minutes later. <clears throat> you got a lieutenant sergeant out here I can talk to? No, no English? No English? La policia? No? After wandering aimlessly about the police parking lot, Glenn finally stumbles onto somebody he can harass. Oh, look, it's the original officer who trespassed in from the post office. Oh, what a glorious day this is. Looks like the gang is finally back, huh? Yeah, make sure it's always on. Should never be off. So what can I do for you now? You can't do nothing for me. I'm reporting you. To what? I'm reporting you okay. and your, your partner. Okay. I'm going to get you fired. Okay. Okay. okay? Here's the deal. I don't want to hear your deal. Shut your mouth. Okay, well, Hello. Shut officer. your mouth. Uh, who are you? I'm Officer Sutton with Edmonds Police. Just a sar just an officer. That's correct. Yeah, I need a lieutenant. We don't have any lieutenant. Okay, well, I need a sergeant, not a. What are you, Colonel? He wants to come. He wants to come. He's a corporal. Yep. Okay. Yeah, corporal. Yeah. yeah. Won't won't work. Uh, these. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to get. I'll get into it. You can, nothing you can do. He. So you want to talk to an administrator? Is that what you're saying? No, no. The sar sergeant or the lieutenant. Okay. He's the person in charge. Of he the he has no power. He's he's just a fucking corporal. It's nothing. Oh, a corporal is something, you village idiot. He's the one who trespassed you, and you can never go in that post office ever again. How terrible for you, Glenn. He's the it's supervisor like, for the it's day, like though. it's like the the. It's, it's Friday. There's not another. Sergeant well, he's gonna have to call one. There has to he's be the one. one. Who's in charge? No, there has to be one in charge. I'm not. Oh, okay. Good. You're gonna get one of our assistant chiefs. Cool. He's on his Perfect. Yeah. What's your name? I'd rather not say. He knows it. Okay. Want, what's my name? You wrote the trespass. That's right. If you don't want to talk to me, I'll let you be. No. Here. Yep. That's right. Yep. Have a good day. You too. When will he be here? He's coming down now. Okay. I'd prefer you stay inside when he gets here. I don't okay. need. I don't need your mouth rambling while I'm talking. Well, I appreciate you telling me that. Yeah. Yep. I don't need your mouth rambling when I'm talking. Certainly go in the front of the building. I did that. Already did that. Oh, okay. Yep. Already did that. What the hell are you talking about rambling, Glenn, when you're one of the biggest ramblers out there? As a matter of fact, you're a babbler. You baby talk. You baby coo all the time. You make no sense at all, Glenn. Of course, I do realize you have a 400 level in English, but that means nothing to me. We tried that. Didn't work out too well. I'm sorry. No English? No es Espanol? No time. No Chinese? Ching Chong Chong? <laughs> Someone asked me in the comment section why I'm so hard on Glenn and call him a racist all the time. There's a perfect example. Why are you talking to that police officer that way? Number one, he's a cop hater, but he's also a racist, bigoted, misogynistic, homophobic pig. He just hates everybody. That's Glenn. That's Glenn through and through. A little longer than a few minutes later. I, I think I think I made it very clear. I don't want I I, I that guy bothers me. I don't like him. Okay, yeah. Just gonna stand there. He can stand like ten feet away or more. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Great. Yep. All right, what's going on? What's your concern? Okay, so 
I was in the post office. Yes. All I was doing was videotaping. Okay. I wasn't breaking the law. I wasn't causing a disturbance. Okay. People were asking me questions. I responded. Okay. He came in there all gung-ho. You need to leave. You need to get out of here. They want you out of here. I'm trespassing you. I explained to him poster seven, rules and regulations governing the post office. Photographs for news purposes and advertisement. He didn't want to listen to it. His partner, Mitzi or whatever, Mitsu. Okay. He wanted to run to his car and uh, write a felonious trespassing order. So uh, their first concern was me not wearing a mask. So I agreed. Okay. okay. He said I could go back in there if I wear a mask. So I That's not true at all, Glenn. You're going to have to rewind your recording and watch that again and listen very closely. Of course, you don't care because you lie about everything. That's just inherent in your nature. I did that. By the time I did that, his partner came back with a trespassing order. I've explained to him several times. He doesn't seem to understand it. He is not FPS, Federal Protective Services. He has no jurisdiction on that property. And it is the law. It's written in the law. So I've explained this to him, and I've tried to tell him he's going to receive a federal lawsuit. And he doesn't comprehend English. I, I don't, he just, it doesn't grasp, you know, like... Okay. Okay, so here's the deal, Glenn. Yep. So um, the, the Postal Service, while being uh, kind of like government property, they can request people be trespassed. Not unless I'm committing a crime. They, you, okay. you have to. Or, 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 or violating their regulations. <laughs> and I, I like said I would put on my mask. Okay. So, and he agreed to that. Okay, well, here's the deal. So it's not up to us whether they want to trespass you. It's up, it's up to them. If no. They want you. Glenn certainly has a myriad of problems in life. But his biggest problem is he cannot listen for more than one minute at the most. At the very most. Usually it's less than 10 seconds. And then he wants to deflect onto a different subject, which is what he's doing here. He, he made the mistake. So, he, he wrote the felonious trespassing yeah, so, order. Glenn, they requested that you be trespassed. We agree we we did that on their their behalf that's unlawful okay well then, that's unlawful okay well i understand you you think that's unlawful but <laughs> it is but you have been trespassed from that particular post office. okay not all post offices just that property right okay so if you do go back there then you would be subject to arrest at this point in that's time. why i'm gonna file a federal lawsuit okay. on well then then right if, if you feel the need to do that then you can absolutely i do will that. do that, that. you're right as he, a citizen so i hope that answers your question but that's what we've done today. that that so, hasn't answered my question you don't seem to understand either. You're not no. Federal Protective Services. Glenn, you have no jurisdiction Glenn, on that property. Glenn, we're not going to argue about this. That's what's been done. That's <laughs> You're not going to argue law? Glenn, I don't think you fully understand. I know the law. I know the so, scope of the law. So. That's right, Sergeant. Glenn watches YouTube videos every night when he's at the men's shelter right before he goes to sleep. And he's almost a lawyer. So back off. <laughs> so, so Glenn. Uh, do you have any other questions for me? So I need to um, file two complaints. I have to start with the two complaint process. So I need to file a complaint on Robert. Is his name Robert? Who, who are you talking about? Robert? That's not Robert. Uh, no. Roger, Robert? That's, that's Corporal Smith. What's the R for? Richard. Richard. Okay. Richard Smith. Okay. I need to file a... Okay. And then... The other guy, okay. Mitsitsu Chachi. Okay. Chachachi. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Complaint. Yeah, so, so would you like me to get you complaint paperwork? Yes, I need the complaint okay. paperwork immediately because okay. I have to. Okay, why don't you wait here? Let me go get that for you. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yep. All right. So just, just hang here, okay? Right, right. right. All right. Okay, I Got appreciate it. your cooperation. Yep. Glenn. I'll be right back. Okay. Got well, it. Are you good hanging there? I'll be good here. here. Yep, I'll be good. Yep. Oh, Glenn said he would be good. Glenn, you can never be good. You're a 35-year-old man who has the brain of an 8-year-old child. I don't know what's going to happen to you as you get older and cannot care for yourself. Oh, could you imagine a home health aide that would have to take care of that lard? Oh, my goodness. Hey, there you are, buddy. No tough guy routine today? No big tough guy routine? No lights in people's faces? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Eventually.
Oh, hang on. Oh. Yeah, I, I just have to change. Yeah. That's Sometimes the change was, yeah, change it happens. Hey, there you go. That's for you. Okay. The, the two officers, uh, I know you can't say the name, so there you go. What's uh, Mitsui's Mitsui. first name? Mitsui. Mitsui, what's yeah. his first name? Trevor. Trevor, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'll be following. Uh, so, okay. you, you guys, I'm guessing you guys will take responsibility for that federal lawsuit in their behalf well, since they so, were on duty? Well, well. so, okay. so I'm not going to talk about lawsuits that haven't been filed or anything. So, if you, right. file, if you file a federal lawsuit, <laughs> then the city would respond uh, appropriately. Good luck. I there hope you, you win. <laughs> okay. All right, Glenn. You, have you a seem day. to know what okay. you're doing, right? All right. Well, we, we'll see what happens. Check Better out the memo out. from the, yeah, about the rules and regulations. Okay. All yep. right. Take it easy, Glenn. Yep. Hey, we're back. We came back. Yeah. You're a big tough guy, I thought, right? Yeah. I'm going to file a federal lawsuit on you. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm coming here for, to get your name, Trevor. Yep, it's Trevor Mitsui. Mitsui? Are you like Chinese or something, or what? I'm actually quarter Japanese. Are you? You don't look like it. Yeah, I know, I don't. What's inside? Can I come in here? Oh, I can't. It's unlawful. <laughs> Glenn is a real tough guy around cops, isn't he? Let's take a look at what he does around African-American officers. Roll that clip. You work for me. You are my slave. You work for me. I brought you from Africa, you motherfucker. I brought you from Africa, motherfucker. You are my bitch. And here is more proof that Glenn is a racist pig. Roll that clip. Okay. You held up traffic. It was, it's crowded street. There's snow and ice out here. And on top of that, what you said, you out there harassing somebody else again? Is that correct? Yes, And then on top of that, I said, sir, I need you to move on. And you said, your words exactly. Exactly. Fuck you, nigga. I didn't say and that. And then you said That's it again. That's not true. Fuck you, nigga. That's not true. I, I precisely remember That's not that. true. Okay. It doesn't make a difference at this point. Let me see your driver's license and your registration, please. Enough of that. Back to our story. Well, there you have it, folks. A multi-million dollar lawsuit. Well, Glenn's going to be rolling in dough pretty soon. But it won't be from money. The dough from Taco Bell he'll be rolling in. Oh, I normally don't fat shame anyone. Because a lot of us have a few extra pounds here and there. Ah, uh, but I always make an exception for Glenn. Because he's a pig. He's the pig not the police. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.